Bam! 700 subs. Can you all see that? Hold on. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. There it is. Right there. 700 subs. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Justin Norman. I'm back with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to focus on being able to put drums using the piano roll. Now, you can use the piano roll for any other type of instrument, but I'm going to make a little drum pattern using the piano roll. This is going to be for the true beginners. This is not going to be really complicated because there's a lot of things you can do within the piano roll. If you need further assistance with the piano roll, definitely let me know in the comments later on. All right, let's get into it. What I want to do is make sure that, first off, I'm looking at my tracks. If you don't know how to get to the piano roll, uh, let's go back. So let's exit out of this. All right, let's say I am in my track view. I've got some tracks written up here, and I've got my little drum kit that is already set up and ready to go. All you have to do is once you add your instrument track, whatever that may be, double click right here and it'll open up the piano roll. Yours may look a little different. Um, you might have your, your bars open on the side. If so, you can collapse that. You may have um, this section over here open or you may not have it open. It's up to you whether or not you wanna keep it open. I'm gonna keep it open for right now. Uh, there is some other options on here that we want to talk about. I'm going to click on auto lock. And what that's going to do is lock the other two tracks. So that way I'm only working with the active track. So when I click on it, I'm only working with this one track. And I have the other tracks muted as well. But we'll listen to those in a second. All right. Uh, so I know that my bass drum, I got my little keyboard up here so I can figure out exactly where it is. All right, so it should be right on C3. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert some beats. You will see how it sounds. It might not be anything fancy. A uh, few things to keep in mind is that you wanna make sure that you have this snap on snap resolution enabled right here. This is going to allow you to set the resolution for whatever you want it to be. In this case, uh, you can put it, there's a whole bunch of options. I got it on 16th. That just means that this is subdivided into 16th notes. If you don't see the grid lines looking like this, uh, maybe you're using the light version or using the dark version, uh, depending on whatever theme you have it on. But if you don't see the grid lines, you can go up to view, show vertical grid lines, all right? If I turn them off, then you won't see them at all. And you want these grid lines on because we wanna make sure if I wanted to play 16th notes on my hi-hat, for instance, I can just put here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Alt, and I'm just gonna click them. If you hold down Alt, you can just click one time, and do it this way, all right? I am using the Smart Tool up here, so, and then when I play it, okay, and you can tell, All right, so I've got 16 notes going on. And if I wanna put a bass drum part, let's go ahead and do one, two, and, one, two, and. So I'm gonna put and right there. One, two, and, three, E, all right? So I'm gonna go and, three, E. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I have these hi-hats, and if I wanted to adjust the velocity of them, I can do it a few ways. I can click on one note and I can, while I'm holding the note down, I can bring this down if I wanted to. I can bring this one down if I wanted to. Oops. So you wanna make sure you get to that very end of the note and you can bring it up or down where you wanted it. Or I can click on all the notes and I can adjust them all at once. I can click on them and I can bring them down. I can click on it and bring them down like this, I bring them back up, okay? All right, got that written out, it's very simple. Yep, and if I wanna put a crash, I can add a crash right there. You could also double click to put the notes in. So yeah, it's just simple as that. You can definitely draw your notes in. Um, so, which brings me to what I did 
because I was just crazy and I felt like doing it. We reached over 700 subscribers, y'all, and I want to just say I'm grateful to all of you all that have been a part of the channel. I know I can't always post like I want to. I want to definitely post more. But let me show you what I did real quick. So let's go out of this. I'm going to save that. Look at this. Bam! 700 subs. Can you all see that? Hold on. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. There it is. Right there. 700 subs. So I took the liberty of using the piano roll to write out this part. Now, I started off. Let me show you what I did. I started off. All right. I started off with the 700. The 700 I actually did play with my little keyboard controller. I played it in. It just took me a little while to think about how I wanted to make this 7 look. Now, the zeros and the rest of these, I was like, mm, I can't even do it right now. Because for one, this is a small keyboard. I can't reach that many notes. And then you have to like think about what the notes are going to be. So I did just draw these in. I encourage you to try it. It's pretty fun to try to come up with different messages. You know, you could say like happy birthday or, or you know, I love you or something like that. Or you can write the title of your song or whatever you want to write. But this is what it sounds like. What I did was I took this track, I duplicated it, and I brought it, uh, I duplicated it and made another track for strings. I'm just using the Cakewalk TTS, nothing fancy. Uh, add a little reverb on here. And then what I did is I took and I selected this subs part and I transposed it down further. But this whole string track is up two octaves higher than the piano part. So this is what it sounds like. Uh, I'm wondering what it's going to sound like with the drums, actually. But I'm not going to put the drums on. I'll leave the drums muted. Here we go. Oh, actually, let me turn this off. Seven. Zero. Zero. 700 subs, baby. 700 subs. That's nice. <laughs> hey, it's something fun that you can do. Um, so try to check this out. Do this. I, you know, I encourage you. To, hey, let me see what you come up with. Maybe you come up with some different words. But I just wanted to go ahead and try this. Um, this reminds me of stuff that I used to do when I was in college. Uh, I used to do a lot of um, atonal and experimental music, so et cetera, et cetera. So this is the type of stuff I used to do. But I love you all. If you have any questions, comments, or anything about Cakewalk, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, uh, share, etc. All right, I love you. Out.